today I would like to talk about uh, the update in the Ashto uh, LRFT bridge design specifications. Um, obviously, I'll not cover everything, but I'll go over a few uh, aspects of it. For example, field splice design approach. Uh, previous approach was there for a long time, um, and for some engineers, it was perceived as very complex and unclear. Uh, the new approach is much simpler now. Um, pretty much, you are designing the flange, flange supplies as strong as the smaller flange, and you are designing the web supplies as strong as the smaller web thickness, if there's any variation. For example, uh, the flange splices, uh, when you consider the flange splices compared to previous method, either they will be in similar uh, size or will get larger a little bit. But on the other hand, web splices, bolts will get reduced significantly. So it brings some economy. And as I said at the beginning, it will be much easier to design splices. Another change is that they added a lot of language to define steel bridge fitting. Um, they added the defi definition of no dead load fit, steel only dead load fit, and total dead load fit. Uh, this actually brought a much better understanding of how we deal with the dead load camber during the girder erection or during construction. In some provisions, uh, this may actually bring some economy to the girder, especially skewed and curved girder bridge design, because the number of cross frames will get reduced as well. Another change I can think of is the fatigue load combination load factors. Uh, for example, fatigue one load combination in the previous uh, Ashdo LRFT7, the load factors for it was 1.5 and now it increased to 1.75. On the other hand, fatigue two corresponding to finite life load factors were uh, 0.75 and now it now increased to 0.8. So this will affect the uh, girder size a little bit. You'll need a little bit larger sizes, so you'll have you'll need heavier girders. And on the other hand, you will need more shear studs. So shear studs typically uh, depends on the fatigue load checks. All of the changes I just listed regarding Ashto updates will be incorporated in Leapridge Steel. And this new version will be available sometime in June. Another hot subject I'd like to introduce here is the 3D bridge uh, modeling. Um, a lot of the bridge owners right now and DOTs and agencies are leaning towards 3D parametric bridge modeling instead of 2D plan sheets drawings. And there are a lot of advantages of doing it. For example, uh, currently, during the life cycle of the bridge, you need too many models and too many plan sheets. For example, at the beginning of the bridge life cycle, you need as design model to do the analysis and design, you need as design plans, as build plans, and later when you need to perform load rating, you need a separate model for it that you will create from scratch. And then when you decide to do a rehab on the bridge, you need a, another model for rehab design and as a result of it, re rehab plans. So as you see, there are too many things to maintain. It's not easy for the engineer nor for bridge owners. So how about if we have a 3D parametric and intelligent bridge model at the beginning of the bridge life cycle, such that it stores intelligent information, not only the line work, but also maybe material properties and maybe specifications. And how about if I take that 3D model with me on a mobile device and go to construction site and see what's being built in front of me? Also, how about if I can make modifications to the initially created bridge model so that it reflects the current, current condition of the bridge? In that case, I can use that physical model which reflects the current condition of the bridge, transfer it to an analytical model, and perform the, lo perform the load rating right away. Um, so I don't need to create it from scratch. Similar thing for rehab. So if I have a model, I can make modifications to reflect the rehabbed condition of the bridge. So all of these features I listed is actually in Open Bridge Modeler. And um, if you haven't done so, I highly recommend you to go and check Open Bridge Modeler. 